Hey planner friends, it's Nia. Welcome to Life with Nia and Friday Night Lights. This episode of Friday Night Lights is also going to include a flip through of my pocket planner. Now that I have all the little goodies for it, I am working to get it set up and I'm going to show you what I've done so far. So I um, this video is going up later than my Friday Night Lights videos normally go up because I was waiting to have some content to show you. Um, and so it is Friday. I typically record on Thursday for Friday Night Lights, um, but I didn't have any happy mail. So I got some happy mail and now I got the goods and I can show you. So first up, is not this blue so pretty? Um, this is from Simply Gilded and just a very, very small order of what I like to call sub box extras. Um, these items are from the iridescent ink sub box, which um, they can be ordered now the way that um, Irene has changed the Simply Gilded website. They're open to everybody, whereas they just previously were open to sub box subscribers and they are available a lot sooner. Um, so some of the things that I loved, well, I loved everything from the Iridescent Ink sub box, but some of the things that I loved were the things that I opted to get additional items of. So here is my journaling card. It says, but first coffee. And then we always get a freebie sheet. So this is my little coffee freebie sheet and seal. And then I grabbed a, another B6 notebook. I don't ever use the B6 notebook, so I'm not sure what my purpose of this was. But um, I love the cover, and that is really enough for me. So I grabbed that. And I also grabbed some vellum and acetate, which um, I grabbed two sets. So um, there's one sheet of vellum, one sheet of acetate. This is B6 size. Um, my planner is, um, half letter and then the petites are like A5. So this is smaller than each of those, but I kind of have an idea of how I could use this to make a cover for them. So we're going to, so we're going to try and see what we can see. Um, I'm, I don't know why I'm always like scared to cut up stuff, but, this is too pretty to not um, use and be able to look at all the time. So that was the purpose of those. And then I grabbed another one of the sticky tabs uh, because I love these colors. And I thought this would be perfect to go in my pocket planner. So I'm going to set these aside. They're translucent, so you got to have um, a specific pen type to go on there. And then I grabbed um, some pens. So the Sakura Microperm this week, um, and part of last week, I guess, is my current favorite to use on the translucent post-its and page flags and things. It's like the best as far as um, getting it to show up. I'm I'm still in search of something amazing and... Um, I haven't found it yet, but this, um, I was using it for something and it was working pretty darn good, so I'm okay with it. So, grabbed one of those, um, and I was specific in wanting the point zero three, which is a little bit thicker. And then I got two of the mystery item pins. These were um, Sakura Jelly Rolls, and it is just the prettiest inky blue with a little bit of sparkle to it. Um, and I love that. So I had to get, I want some more of these. Like I could use like 10 of these. Um, so I wanted to grab a few of those. I use these types of pens. Like right now I'm using Erin Condren. I used all the ink in my blue one. So I've moved on to pink. These are the Erin Condren glitter pens. I use them to write thank yous on my orders. So I love these types of pens for them, but I use them so much. 
um, for that purpose that I run out of ink on them after a few weeks. And so I wouldn't just be buying 10 pins and not using them, though that would be okay as well. They would get use. All right, so that is my Simply Gilded order. Very small, all really geared towards iridescent ink um, extras. Then I ordered from Chic Blossom Prints and... Um, there's the company name. And she is, if you're watching this, having a sale. It started today. It goes through Sunday the 22nd. It's 40% off. I don't remember what the coupon code is offhand, but um, you can find it on Instagram. And if I remember, I will try to put it down in the info below. Um, but her whole shop is 40% off. She's participating in a collab I think it's called the Planner Therapy Collab. Um, so I just placed an order this morning because she had some new kits. And I got grabbed some additional of what I have here to show you. Um, I really love her icons. So she gives you all this little confetti and fun stuff. Um, and then she has a rewards program which I've never taken advantage of I've got to fill out all my little cards um, but she has a rewards program and so you complete the card and then um, you get ten dollars of shop credit which I'm not sure if that can be combined with anything else I always just shop when she's having a really good sale so um, that is what I do this is a freebie sheet and I love the little love yourself. That's pretty. So these icons, I just am obsessed with. So this is what I ordered today, but I ordered silver foil because I've been doing all gold foil. But I love this, the little envelope next to my Happy Mail. Um, I do that every week in my planner, and those are usually the items for Friday Night Lights. And then the little money I put... Next to Payday, I have not used this one before, but this is for like social media posts. So I grab that. Use the trash can, love that for trash day or recycle day. And I like this for grocery shopping, little shopping carts. And you can do the foil, um, you can do the, the hearts like I have here, or she also has little bows that you can foil, or you can do them with no foil. So then I got um, this little planner. So I can put this one next to planner time. And I did the bow on this one with the gold foil. And then I did the coffee cups with the bow with gold foil. And then the fork and knife with the hearts and gold foil. And I did one with silver foil as well. So you can kind of see the difference on the silver versus the gold. They're all very pretty. I did order something. I don't remember what it was. This order that I placed today with rose gold foil because I wanted to see what that looked like as well. And then I ordered these headers. Um, so for the days of the week, you get four weeks worth. And I had to have this Ocean's Eleven blue Love, love, love. And then I did the 50 shades, which is like a different variations of gray. And then they both have gold foil. So super pretty. I am always very happy with everything that I grab from Chic Blossom Prints. So I highly recommend you check her out. So that is that order. Now, let's talk about this pocket planner. And before I do, I will show you the new freebie sheet that I have um, that will be going out starting this weekend with all Studio Bliss Co. orders. So we've got on here April and May, Easter, Cinco de Mayo, Good Friday, Tax Day, Earth Day, Mother's Day, Memorial Day. We've got some butterflies and some planner um, sesh. So um, that is the new freebie sheet design. All right, so pocket planner. 
I can't emphasize enough how much I love this little planner. It is from Notique. So you see the little Notique symbol there. It is black on black on black. It is black croco uh, vegan leather. It included this black pin. Not sure if I'm going to keep this pin with it or not right now. Um, it's working for me, but I'm not really using the pin. Um, and just to show you, because I don't think I tested it, how it writes. Notique has pretty good pins, and it's got a lot of weight to it. It is a very um, heavy pin, kind of luxurious. Um, and I, I don't know what it's considered, if it's considered a ballpoint. I don't know. I'm not sure if it's gel or not, but this is a Notique pen. I'd say it's probably point um, zero five, and um, it's not my favorite, but I I don't have any issue with using it. Um, it serves the purpose. Okay, so that's the pen that is included. Um. I will do my best to share where all of the inserts came from. Um, this is what I have in here now. I have a whole little container here of pocket-sized items to either uh, refill the pocket planner with or um, use for the first time. And so I just took all my little extras and I put them in here. I pulled a Try to pull a little bit of everything, but I didn't need like a whole year's worth of stuff in the pocket planner. And there's just not enough space. So um, we will change it up as we go. So inside, um, there is a pocket here. And I don't have anything in there. And you've got no teak embossed on the bottom there. And then on the back side, there is a pocket here as well. And then there is a scallop um, pocket here. And then there are three pockets here. And I don't have anything in those at the moment. Um, that is probably going to be a great place for some um, journaling cards. There's also a pocket here. Um, and I don't plan to use that for anything at this time. Okay, so here's what I've added. I added a minimal journaling card. Um, this is from Cloth and Paper. And then I added a die cut from Isis Ella Jewels. This is one of my favorite. Um, it's called Rooted. And I added a journaling card from Isis Ella Jewels that just, that says breathe. This is also a favorite. I love this. And then I added my die cuts from Planner Craving in the Hollow. I love these die cuts. Love them so much that I went back and ordered some more for, so that I have them for my half letter and my pocket. I love these. And as you can see, they are just light up. On camera the hollow is beautiful this was a little photo card um, deco that I made during um, an Isis Ella Jules planning session um, and so I just made my little Polaroid picture there that says comfortable in my skin let your new vibe be stronger than your old vibe it's got some vellum in there in the middle and it's just cute and I wanted to make sure that I was using something that I created um, and I love that reminder. So that is what is in my pockets. Now, here on the front, I have a piece of, um, it's like a frosted cover or divider. It's not really a cover. It's a divider, um, that I'm using as a cover. And underneath it, I have a piece of vellum that says, be patient with yourself, darling. That vellum is from Brooklyn Grace. And then underneath that is a, um, I guess a, a divider. Um, and this was made by the Clever Planner. And so I had Bliss put on the top. And I just love her. I think it's so pretty. 
So I have that and I love to layer. So I have the um, three of these items, the cover, the vellum, and the journaling card all together. And so that's what it looks like all stacked on top of each other. And then I have a calendar for 2021. Calendar is from the Clever Planner 2. And then I have the word brave and the definition, ready to face and endure danger or pain or showing courage. My 2021 word of the year is brave. And this card is from Fancy Plans. Then I've got some dividers, um, the black dividers. So the this one says grind. They are a heavy card stock. I have a whole set of six of them, um, but I only have, I think, three or four in here. Um, these are the girl gang dividers and they have gold foil. Um, so I like to use those as a backing for things and for when I'm layering. So that's where those are from. And then I have this little paper clip with the bow. This is also from Planner Craving, the same place as the die cuts. So then our next little section here says to all the ladies in the place with style and grace. This is again from Brooklyn Grace. And I've got a black divider, side divider. I don't have them labeled. I'm just going to leave them blank. These are also from Brooklyn Grace. Um, you can get different numbers of tabs. So I opted to have four tabs. I felt like it was equally spaced nicely using four and not too small. Then we get into my monthly planner. So you've got another 2021 at a glance. And then I have January through March in here. And then I have this, um, sort of like planner bookmark in the middle um, to mark off March. This is from the Clever Planner as well. The monthly insert is from Lights Planner Action. And I um, just love her shop. She's got the cutest things there. And so a lot of the inserts that I'm going to show you are from Lights Planner Action. So I just went ahead and put January through July in here. Petey says hi. So I've got the first half of the year basically. And I like this little font and design. I think it's cute. So then we have our little socialite section and we've got another little planner and then we have a weekly plan. These are again from Lights Planner Action. And so you have a place for like stuff that's going on this week. You've got your Monday. You've got a box here that has Monday through Sunday listed. Um, and then I've got another planner card here to mark off the page. And it says plan for the week. So this is like my weekly bookmark. And then you've got Tuesday, Wednesday to buy. And I think this font is very cute as well. And then on the next set of pages, you have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You've got a place for habits. And then you've got just an empty um, graph box. And then that repeats. Then I've got a nice little um, vellum sheet with a pretty girl there with her handbag. I think living her best life. Got that layered on top of a side tab divider. And I just love the way that the vellum looks on top of the black. It really makes it pop. Then I have my favorite of all time um, divider from Cloth and Paper. And that is this ink blot. So I put that over March. And the March vellum, um, I have the whole year, January through December, of the vellum um, dividers to mark off the month. And so then I have the cloth and paper inserts in here because I'm really just not sure what I want to use. So yes, it's redundant. Um, I haven't used anything yet. I'm still in the process of setting up, but I do love these cloth and paper vertical um, weeklies. The This version of them, which has a week on two pages. So this is your um, cover page, which has like a place for your goals and your to-do list, important dates and bill due, and then your monthly calendar. And then you've got a week on two pages, which I think is super cute, but tiny. So I'm just not sure how that will work for me, but I put um, March in there and then I added in this um, glass plastic um, divider. It's got a today tab that sticks up to mark your page. You can also write on here, it's dry erase. So I've got just uh, March in here. 
And then um, when you get to the end of the month, they give you a page for lined paper. This is another divider that I had created by the Clever Planner. And so it says Nia up top. And it's got just the little planner babe here working on her business. And I thought that was super cute. This little paper clip is from Dazzlin Designs. And I've got everything backed to a black top tab divider. Then I've got a marble sheet of vellum and underneath it the um, Eiffel Tower deco divider sheet. Um, I think it's actually vellum as well. Yeah, so both of these are vellum. And so I just have those layered. So you've got the marble, the um, deco sheet, and then another marble. This is cardstock. This is vellum. So I just thought that looked all cute, all layered together like that. And I just used a paper clip to keep them all together. Then I've got a little plastic ruler. It's not really a ruler because it doesn't have measurements on it, but a page uh, marker. And um, I think it came from Brooklyn Grace, but I don't remember. Then I've got my to-do list. These are from Brooklyn Grace. I also grabbed to-do lists from... I have to-do to do's from Notique and I have to do's from Lights Planner Action and I can't find them at the moment but it just allows me to um, change it up whenever I want to and do something a little bit different so this is the current to-do list in here I have a few pages and then I have another little divider, and I li love her as well. I think it's super pretty. And then we have a black. So I'm. this is where I'm kind of like, I'm not sure where I want to put here, but it would be another place where I would layer. And then I have this cute little, I think this is considered Big Ben, but I'm not sure, but um, with the bicycle. And so I paper clip that to the side tab divider and then I have a place for projects these are from lights planner action I'm not working on any projects well that's not true I am working on a project um, I'm working on a surprise for y'all but I haven't filled anything out on here yet so you've got a place for sort of like brain dumping a place for notes description of the project a start and finish date tasks and supplies and then graph paper graph paper and then it starts all over again for the next project. So I have a couple of those in here. Then we have another side tab divider, and then we have the shopping log, which I am sure I'm gonna get lots of use out of because you can put the shop discount codes, which is one of my favorite things. And then you can keep track of what you buy so that if you're like me, you don't buy them twice because you forgot. And you can do your little do not buy list, which I'm not sure I will use. And then there's a place for your favorite shops. And then I end with a little pocket folder. So it's not a super big folder, but I can put my little sticker sheet in there. Or um, these new labels that I grabbed from Simply Gilded will fit in there. They're not the best thing to put in there because they you kind of have to be careful with not snagging them on the pocket. But what I can also do is affix them to the back side of this um, pocket because it's it um, doesn't have a pocket on the back side. So I can just attach that here and then um, I have my little stickies to keep with me. And then the last thing I have here is a page lifter. Um, which I feel like is an essential for any planner because it keeps that last thing in your planner from being ruined. Um, it helps the pages lift really nicely and just keeps it all together in a nice manner. So that's what it looks like. And it's a little bulky because I just added this in there. But if I take it out, 
that is what it looks like. So there's not a lot of room in the pocket planner, but I, I feel like I do have a little bit of space left, but I kind of like um, where I'm at right now on these rings that were included. And if I didn't mention it, it does, um, the black croco does have black rings, which I just think is a whole nother level of elegance. So this is just, I love this. I want to see how I can use it as maybe a wallet. I also wanted to look at, um, not necessarily this one, because I want to use this one as a planner, um, or a planner slash wallet. But um, if I do another pocket planner, I want to see if I can get vinyl cash envelopes at the pocket size to use because I just think that this is so much easier to throw in your bag um, and you can just fold the money in half because like your personal size planner, which is what I use for cash envelopes is like the length of a dollar bill, which is a lot longer, but you can fold it in half and easily use this, which I feel like is more the size of a wallet. So that is my pocket planner and my Friday night light haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.